Hello. I've had a question from Dark Dan 9121 about these pins down in here, which on the newer versions of the V1 take a steel spring and on the original version take a rubber band. Prefer the springs now because they have a better characteristic. Also, they last longer. Here you can see the rubber band is starting to really just break up from age. Also from UV exposure. I suspect it's a bit better in there. Springs made of steel, I think are going to last longer. They certainly are not going to corrode in the same way, especially if they're stainless steel. And also, as they stretch, they have a linear spring extension, which means that when you pull them further, they get stronger. The other problem with latex, if you think of when you blow up a balloon, is that when you blow a balloon up, it suddenly gets very easy. And that's what happens with these as well. So the characteristic is a bit looser. Ah. <laughs> well, the characteristic is a little different. Eh, maybe not it's true. I mean, really, you bash a mare. to say really then okay I guess I prefer the springs mainly because they don't corrode so they don't have to be or they corrode less quickly so they don't have to be changed as often and that makes life a lot easier as for how to secure them which was what the question actually was you can see that the spring's going to come out of here and simply for ease of mounting you want to have it more or less in a straight line these holes are added to the CAD now, but if you have got an older version, you're just going to have to drill them out. In fact, the holes used to be up here for the rubber bands. Just put a pin in there, stretch it around. And in this version, I'm using two mil springs. I think there's about 3.2 mil between the servo and the bone. So you might be able to get in a three mil spring. I haven't tried it. Um, if there's enough interest or other at some point, I'll do a revision when I update the CAD and I will add a little channel. I think the IoT Design Shop already did that though, so their CAD might be available. Um, I'll ask him, see what he's done. Anyway, that is the answer to the question. You want to just get those pins in a line with that simply because it makes it easier to mount. But in practice, as long as you can attach one end to something back here, Anywhere will do. Um, yes, okay, right. In fact, so, yes, the interference which occurs is that that PTFE pipe, which runs, thrum, which runs from the palm bones, then has to go round that pin. So that pin wants to be above the line that comes from the PTFE coming out of that hollow and passing below the wrist bolt, the M3, which goes all the way across there. So if that pin is too low, then it's going to interfere with that PTFE. So that is the interference you want to watch out for. Oh, sorry to go back to the V1. Do apologize. I'm really on to the V3 now. So going back to this. Um, is a bit of a trip down memory lane for me. I will try and finish the thumb at some point as well. Um, I've got a couple of shows coming up. So, after those, um, well, <laughs> I guess, actually, when enough people ask me, realistically, there's always stuff to be done. So, um, until there is pressure from people, stuff doesn't tend to get done.